So let's do the unboxing. So the first thing you're going to find, onion bag. Onion bag can be used to put the, the oatmeal balls into the field if you want, so you can lift them out. You've got a little quick reference guide here that's going to give you some hints and tricks on how to make the wireworm bait ball kits. It's going to show you uh, wireworm biology. Some pictures of what wireworms look like. Some of the damage that they do. And show some pictures of wireworms in a bait ball. Again, some more damage. So a little reference guide for how to utilize the kit. We've got some pin flags here that we can use to mark the bait balls in the field. Some more onion bags. So next we're going to find in the bait ball kit, we're going to find a compartment or a container that we can put our wireworms into. So you'll see on the top of the container we've got our name, our address, phone number, and field locations for the cooperator that we can utilize to send this kit away to Ag Canada so that they can use the information to identify the species of wireworms so they can build a map of different species all across Canada. So as you'll see that in the container we've got individual compartments and the importance of having individual compartments is because wireworms will actually cannibalize each other. So if you put 18 wireworms in this kit without any any segmentation in it and you might get two or three wireworms when they're sent back into Ag Canada. So when you are putting the wireworms into the kit put one per per slot or per, per uh, segment and uh, then hopefully Ag Canada will receive 18 wireworms. So that's the the container for shipping them in. Next we have a shovel that we can utilize to dig the hole that we'd put the bait ball into. We're gonna grab grab the, the honey. Honey is utilized in the mix so that kind of adds a little of a, a little bit of sweetness or flavor for the wireworms I guess you could say um, in the wireworm bait ball. So we utilize that when we mix mix up the oatmeal. Got a pair of rubber gloves so that we can uh, keep our hands clean should we choose to do so. And then we get into uh, the meat and potatoes of the kit and that's just gonna be plain old rolled oats. So got some rolled oats. Got a container that we can mix the, the bait ball into. We have a marker so that we can write on top of the, the compartments. And then we also have a magnifying glass so if you wanna have a closer look at your wire rooms once you collect them, you can have a closer look at them. So then we have the kit itself, which normally I use to do all my mixing into mix my bait balls right in, in this kit itself versus this little mix tank.